Hey there, real quick, before we begin, you're about to watch a live stream, which means you're really kind of behind the scenes here because these lessons are usually watched in the archives, but you're here for the live taping of them. So if we mess up really bad, we're probably gonna chop that out, but you're gonna get to see all of our bloopers and mistakes. We'll also chop this off so no one is gonna see this part of the lesson but you. And because you're behind the scenes, you're probably gonna ignore my instructions when I say like, pause the video and go practice or whatever. You can if you want. It's just that you, everyone in the chat room then will be in different places in the video. That's fine. When you wanna join us live again, go down to the bottom of the video, click on the live button, and that should take you straight to where we actually are now. So now here comes a part for everybody else. I'm really glad you're with us. The archives are fine, but my favorite is talking to you live. So see you in the chat room. <clears throat> Welcome back to KidsLearnPianoLive.com. My name is Jamin, and as you can tell from the countdown clock here, the lesson is about to begin. If this is your first time playing piano, welcome. I'm very excited for you. You're going to do great. Hopefully you already received from us the welcome packet in the mail, and maybe you even got started on the Absolute Beginners video pack to teach you the names of the notes and things like that. But if not, that's fine, you'll do great. I'll show you how to play all the notes. And if I'm going too fast for you, you can always pause the video or rewind it and go for the more difficult parts. You can always pause the video or rewind it and go for the more difficult parts. And even if you only learn a little bit of this song and you don't learn the whole thing, you'll still learn enough to help you build skills so you can learn other songs faster in the future. So jump in, give it a try. You're bound to end up at least a little bit better than you even are right now. Throughout the lesson, I may refer to Kloppel Academy, and you can check out that link on the website if you want. Basically, it's a program that takes you all the way from like learning the names of the notes, the very beginning, through 12 levels of classical and jazz music, through all the skills that you would need to become a professional pianist. So you would learn all the same stuff that you would learn if you're taking regular traditional piano lessons, probably plus a little bit more, but it takes about five to 10 years to complete. So you can just try out the first level, see if it's the kind of thing that you like, or if you just care about today's lesson and learning this song, then just ignore all those references and focus on today's lesson. If you're watching this at LearnPianoLive.com, there should be a PDF and an MP3 button right next to this video. The MP3 is a play-along track that you can use to practice more after the lesson, but a lot of students like to print out the PDF right now so they have it during the lesson. Careful, it could be up to like 30 pages, so just find the couple pages that you want and print those out. If you decide not to, that's fine. I'll show you all of the notes on screen as we go through it. And we will be going through five different levels of this song that all use the same play-along track. So, even if you've never played piano before, you'll still be able to do level one. And then as we go through level two, three, four, and five, then when we use that same play along track, you just keep playing your same version. If you're watching this lesson in the archives and you have a question huh? during the lesson, then feel free to click on that survey button. And at the end of the survey, there's a place for you to ask your question and I will do my best to get back to you with the answer to that question. But if you're with us live as we're recording this today, then feel free to click on that chat button and you can talk with all the other students who are logged in during the live lesson. And if you have a question about the lesson, then you can just go ahead and type that into the box that says, ask Jamin a question and we will do our best to answer that question live in the lesson. All right, I think that's the end of the boring stuff. I'm ready to learn a song. Stay tuned at the end of the lesson and I'll show you how to win more points and earn more prizes next week. But for right now, let's get this party started. Welcome back to KidsLearnPanelLive.com. My name is Jamin, and this is the incomparable Kendra. Guess what? I am very excited because I'm currently working on a song collaboration with a songwriter in England. Okay. Which is crazy because I just did a song collab with someone from Australia. Wow. So, you know, it's like the I mean. World wide, wide <laughs> is the web. That's so yeah. cool. All right. Yes. Yeah. So you're collabing excited. with everybody. Yeah. yeah. What was the name of the last song you did with the Australian person? 
Uh, into the fire. Okay, and, and this next one. EJ. Oh, wait, what? Oh, what? Uh, EJ. Sorry, I didn't yes. mean to. Yes, yeah, step over her name. Oh, no so worries. EJ, and then who's this other person? Or do we? And we're not saying yet. I think Just it's someone. gonna be like a, a surprise later. Oh, okay, but, uh, cool. Yeah. Stay tuned for someone <laughs> from England. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that actually kind of fits into today's uh, lesson because this is going to be from Mary Poppins. And, uh, oh, hey, Bubble. Good to see you. Yes, we'll go quickly. I know. Yes. Um, so this song uh, is going to be the like one of the best songs out of the movie, in my opinion. Um, and it's going to eventually, at full speed, sound something like this. Don't worry. I know it sounds fast. I'll show you how. Okay, so that's what it's gonna be eventually, but right now, all you gotta do is find an A. So to find an A, you're gonna take any group of three black notes, like those ones or like those ones. Don't pick a group of two, that will not get you an A. But if you pick any group of three black notes, and then just play the note that's in the middle of any group of three black notes, and drag it slightly to the right, you'll land on a white note that is named A every single time. And you're just gonna play one of those, and you're gonna say out loud, Chim. And if you've done that, you are already starting to play this song. Congratulations. Way to go. Uh, so that's an A, and we're going to say Chim. Now, next, usually we get to play, like, the note just to the left or just to the right. By the way, to the right, we usually call this higher, and to the left, we usually call that lower. So we, we're going to play this one, and usually we get to go just one note higher or lower. In this case, we have to jump a big distance. From A, we got to jump over B and C and D and get all the way up to an E. So you don't have to count the letters if you don't want to. You can just skip over three white notes. we got to go from this note to this note in order to get to the next note. The good news is the next, like, three trillion notes are all going to be that, that E at the top. So once we get up to that E, if we can find that E, we find the A at the beginning using the three black notes. And then we're going to jump up to this E using either the alphabet or just jumping over three, three white notes. And then we get to play, let's see here, how many of these are in a row? Eight of them in a row? Yeah, okay, that's cool. We always like that because that gets us through the song without actually having to play different notes. So that's kind of convenient. So we're gonna play the A, and then we're gonna play the E and say, chim-in-ni, chim, chim and ni Okay, and then one more for chim, but that there's kind of a break in there, actually. Chim, chim and ni kind of a break right there too so you want to take a little break after three of them and then after four of them but if you know the song and you're saying the words along as you go then you won't even have to think about the break because you'll automatically put it in so chim chim and me chim chim and me yeah and along with the track uh the track's gonna go one two one two three that's actually gonna go one two three one two three and then we're gonna jump in um so anyway let's try that it's gonna go kind of fast but just know that i'm gonna count to three two times one two three one two three and then you're gonna play the a and immediately go to the e if you miss a whole bunch of notes right now that's perfectly fine you've never practiced this before so you should not be great at this song yet but at least we're gonna try to get in that a on time and maybe jump up to that e and get a couple of those so if you're in the archives right now then and uh, press pause, practice these notes here, the A and, the, and all the E's on your own. But if you're live with us, then just play all the notes that you can and don't worry about the ones that you miss. All right, here we go. One, two, three, one, two, three. Chim, chim, and knee. Chim, chim, and knee. Yeah, it goes really, really, really fast. Let's try it again. I'm going to count to three two times. Get ready on that A and the E. You can use two different hands if you want to. Get ready on the A and the E. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, one, two, three. Chim, chim, and me. Chim, chim, and me. Yeah. Okay, cool. So then after that, after you practice that up, now, if, if that's all you can do right now, you're like, wait, no, I don't have that down yet. That's fine. That means that you're normal. You can either just leave the lesson and go practice that thing um, or just pay attention and see what the other notes are. And then uh, when we go on to other levels, just mute me until we, we're all practicing together and just practice your, your version of it. So you don't have to, this next part does not have to make sense yet, but we're going to play this E for Chim. I'm going to look at this, the end of this line right here. We're going to go one note to the right, one note higher. It's going to be up to an F, and then come back to the E, and then play the D. And there's actually kind of a pause right there, too. So E, F, E, D. That'll be something to practice on its own. Chim, chim, chiri. And then we're going to play the exact same D and say out loud the word ah. Uh, and then play the same D and say sweep. 
And then this one goes up to an E and back down to the D and even down to a C. So sweep is as luck. Yeah, sweep is as luck. And then it keeps going up to a D and then C, one down for a B, and then this guy right here is gonna be the tricky guy. Now again, a lot of you are up here practicing this section up here, that's perfectly fine. You can come back to the video anytime you want. If you're live with us especially, check this out in the archives afterwards, but uh, practice up that section up at the top. Um, so then, then A sharp is gonna be the note that's slightly higher than an A. So this would be an A, you already knew that because we found an A at the beginning of the lesson. So that's an A. The note that's slightly higher than an A is not a B because a B is actually a couple notes higher than an A. This right here is the note that's slightly higher than an A. So we want to play this A sharp right here after we play B for luck, E can. And then all the way back up to that E for the word B, like B-E, not like the letter B. It's an E. You're supposed to be playing an E when you say B. Ah, I hate it when that happens. Okay, so the first two lines along with the track uh, is going to sound something like this. Again, if you're in the archives, then press pause on the video. Practice this thing until you think that you've got it down and you're ready to, to play it with us. If you're live with us, get the first couple notes. Get all that you can. Don't worry about the ones that you miss. Everyone's going to play their own version. Here we go. One, two, three, one, two. Three chim chim and me chim chim and me chim chim cheree. A sweep is as lucky as lucky can be. And then good news, this next line right here, this third line should look very familiar because it's the same as the first line. So if you've been working on the first line, you've also been working on the third line because they're the exact same thing. And more good news, all the way up to here. Good luck will rub off when I shakes. Right there. All of that is the same as all of this right here. So the only real notes, once you get to the end of the second line, the only real notes that are going to be different are this, these three right here. Ands with you. A C, a B, and an A. And I think you can do that because you already found an A at the beginning of the lesson. So an A and a B and a... All right, Kloppel, we'll move on after this last time through. So I'm going to play all the everything twice through, except at the end I'm going to play Ands With You for the last three notes. Instead of playing this stuff over here, the A sharp and the B and the E, on the second time through, that gets, gets turned into C, B, A. Okay, let's try it. Everybody, just get all the notes that you can. Don't worry, you'll have lots of time to practice later. But uh, get ready on your A and your E. Let's go. One, two, three, one, two, three. Chim, chim and me, chim, chim and me, chim, chim, chirpy. A sweep is as lucky as lucky can be. Chim, chim and me, chim, chim and me, chim, chim, chirpy. Good luck will rub off when I shake hands with you. Okay, yeah, it's cool. Crazy, crazy fast, but you're doing a great job, so keep practicing that up. And right now, Kendra, tell us about our weekly activity. This week is the treble clef dice, and you just cut out the dice and tape them together so you can test yourself on the treble clef and tag Learn Piano Live when you post a picture on Facebook or Instagram for 150 bonus points from Kloppel, our favorite mascot. Yeah, that's a great one for anyone who uh, I guess is starting on level uh, two or three and you're starting to read sheet music, that stuff will be important. So it's kind of a fun game to play too. So uh, right now, let's do a little bit of mailbag. If you'd like to win an extra 750 points by being the mailbag winner, just fill out the survey at the end of the lesson or send us a message anytime during the week using the contact button at the top of the page. And this week is from New You who says, Dear Jamin, do you have any pets? Why, yes, we do. We've got um, one dog, and we've got two cats, and we're currently in the market for a turtle and a dwarf hamster because, uh, yeah, we uh, recently, yeah, we're in the market for some. But we have three pets currently and are looking to increase it to five. So tell me what pets you have and what their names are, please. And, uh, we'll not keep that a secret. But I do have a couple secrets for you. It's called Secret Information. And this week in our top secret folder, 
we have a little bit of information about our song. The first one is, ooh, this is really cool actually. A lot of you guys are working on writing your own songs and stuff, and this song uses something called a descending bass line. That means we're not even gonna talk about this when we get to level three, four, and five, so this will just be our secret right here. But this song starts on this chord right here, it's called an A minor chord, and pretty much it just stays on that chord for the whole time, except this note goes down a little bit, and 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 a little bit. So, the level three and level four people aren't gonna notice it as much, but you can already play the notes for the left hand for the level three stuff, even if you're on level one, just by playing every other note starting on A, and then taking this note right here, down a half step, and then 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 down a half step, every single note, white note, black note, white note, black note. And when we play that along with the melody, So it's just a descending bass line. Descending bass line. Only you and I know that. The next thing on our top secret folder. Oh, is that this song. Okay, so this song is in A minor. You don't have to know what that means. If you're in Klopp Academy level, I think four, you're three or four, you, you know what that means. Uh, but this song is gonna be in A minor and usually we only have one secondary dominant. But this song has two of them. Let me show you where they are. The, we're not going to point this out when we get to the level four, um, but it has two places where their chords that with the level four people are supposed to play are going outside of the key. It's not all white notes. Right here, we have one because that's a B chord, and you can see that uses not white notes. So that goes outside of the key of A minor or C. And then the other one is this one right here, which the level four people know about already because they know if, they, if they're in A minor, they're going to have one chord that uses black notes use the black note but this song has two of them the b and the e so two secondary dominants in this song so that was all the secrets except for who won the raffle maybe it was you let's find out So sadly, the lesson preview has come to an end, and it's time to say goodbye to everyone watching the free streams. Of course, paying subscribers at LearnPianoLive.com can continue watching this lesson and several hundred others like it in the archives. So come on over and check us out. And if you like what you saw, at least like and subscribe, and then tell your friends to head on over to LearnPianoLive.com to start enjoying this journey with us.